Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense to be a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Neighbor spikes to the last. They get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. We can beach over here. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of it. His spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads.
about that one, brother? How did your friend become a dragon, Mimir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroll was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Pretty little dwarf. Never answered the boy's question, Ed. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Well, I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. <laughs> Set him free. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. Oh, you wee little bugger. Well, the dragon hasn't done much for his personality.
Here. Boy. Trusting a spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But if there's even a chance, don't you want to see Mom again? Of course I do. She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again, just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Got you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. And next time. Here we go. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. 
Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. <gasps> Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Who's the guardian?
I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. I guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You and her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! You actually told a good story. And we missed it. understand if you want to go home, but 
maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? Or the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? For snow? Aye, for snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this from a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of these? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we, we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. the unity stone didn't it? i wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies if it's about the future he adds it to his collection helps him style himself as all seeing and all knowing but of course the idea is control Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. 
way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbo winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs>